Hello there! Hi beautiful people! My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and on style. Welcome to my channel where I do everything and anything creative. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this gorgeous edible amaryllis flowers without using any veiners. So what are we waiting for? Let's start! Okay, so we will make the center of the amaryllis flower first. So we need to make this anthers, so six pieces of this one. So basically, you just need a wire number 28 or 30. And then you need a gum paste. So I'm using gum paste, ordinary color white. Okay. So the first goal, so this is around half centimeter. Put cornstarch on your fingers. Okay, so basically, we just need to cover half of this wire going up okay so just pressing the paste in just like that and then gently twist okay so just twist and twist while pushing it going up okay if there's an excess like this just join it with the paste okay so continue twisting it should be thin okay Again, put cornstarch on your hand so it won't stick because the heat in our hands will make the paste sticky. Okay. So after this, it should be thin. So we'll remove the excess here at the bottom. Okay, because it should be really, really thin. Just like so. Okay. Just like that. And after that, since we removed these excess parts, okay, you need to get some of those and make it into an oval, just like that, okay? So you need to stick it here in the end so you can put edible glue, okay? But I just prefer to stick it this way, okay? So it's a little bit oval, see that? And then get one of your cutter, any size. What you need to do you need to create a straight line in the middle, okay, just like that. And then this, I will bend this a little bit, okay, just like so, see that? And then here, I will put very little edible glue, okay. And then here I have my gelatin with color brown luster dust, okay. So... I'll dip here the end and this is what it looks like see that it looks so pretty so you need to make six pieces of this one okay okay so now we are done making the six pieces of anthers so this is the one with the the gelatin powder that's color brown okay just like a pollen see that Okay, so after that, you have to make the stigma. So it's the, actually the same procedure. You need wire number 28 or 30. So, but this will be a bit longer. So the paste is actually, the spread of the paste will be longer. Okay, so again, get cornstarch so it won't stick when you are twisting and twisting and slowly pushing it going upwards. Okay. So, right now, we're making the stigma. Okay, so just... Basically, we need to cover the entire stick. So, we remove all the excess. Okay, so this should be really, really thin. Okay, so we're just rolling and rolling. Okay, so we remove the bottom part because it's a bit thick. Okay, so now that it is very thin, see that? Need to make sure that it's really, really smooth. Okay, so we have an excess space here that we removed. So what I will do, um, you can actually put edible glue on top, very little, 
Okay, and then this one will form a circle and we'll put it here on top. Okay, so it should be this small only. Just like so. See that? Okay, that's how it looks like. Okay, and then using uh, your smallest cutter, we just need to make three division using the end. Okay, so I'm just pressing it in so that it will have the marking similar to the markings of a real amaryllis. Okay, and then you need to bend this slightly, just like so. Okay, slightly bended. And then later, we will assemble all these three and then we'll proceed with the petals. Okay, so now uh, I have all the anthers, okay? And I have the stigma. So we will now assemble this, all of this. So you see, I just punched them all together. And then the stigma, since the paste is longer, I will bend it here, just like that, and put it under the anthers, okay? It should be underneath. Okay, just like so. So sometimes it will move, it's okay, just like that. So you need to get your floral tape. Okay, so we expand to activate the stickiness and then gently wrap this all together. Okay, and then twist. Okay, and then cut out the excess. And then gently arrange them back in place okay so they should be like so okay so the stigma should be lower and then all the anthers should be at least at the same level okay so they are bended okay now we'll proceed with the petals okay so now we will be uh, cutting out the petals so we'll be using cutter number three and cutter number four so for the size, uh, this is cutter number three is three point it's three point three centimeter or three point five centimeter. That's okay. And then cutter number four, this is four centimeter. Okay. So we need to get your gum paste, and then we will start rolling. So for this time, we have to roll it a bit thick because we need to manipulate the shape. Okay. So dab cornstarch. So it won't stick then we roll okay so just roll it okay and then dab cornstarch okay so i'm just rolling in one direction so it won't stick to the rolling pin like that okay then we roll then we roll again okay roll okay so around this stick is okay so you see it's very thick so we'll cut three pieces of this cutter number three and three pieces of cutter number four okay because Amaryllis has six petals. Okay, so when you're cutting, again, press lightly and then move your paste. Okay, so you can cut it out very clean, like so. Okay, and then later I'll show you how to insert wire and do the veining without using a veiner. Okay, so right now we will thin out the petals and do the veining. Okay, so first, I'll be starting with a smaller petal. So what you need to do, you need to insert the wire. This is wire number 24. Okay, so I'm just going to insert it until almost the end. Okay, and then I will roll it flat. Okay, just like that. See? Then take it out. And then put it on the foam pad and then we need to dab cornstarch so it won't stick so basically I will manipulate the shape so it should be a little pointed and then I will go around the sides ok 
okay? So we need to thin out the sides, avoid the center because the center is where the wire is. Okay, you see that? So it's now developing its natural frills, just like the real amaryllis. Okay? So basically, I just thinned out the sides, okay? Avoid the center, just the sides, okay? After that, you need to flip it out. And then using your barbecue stick, okay, so this is how we will do the veining. Okay, so start from the end. Your barbecue stick is slanting, okay? So just go, create a line, okay? And then another one, another one, and another one, okay? Okay, just like so, see that? And then after that, using your ball tool, I'll just make the ends roughly, okay? So as to mimic the real, Amaryllis petal, okay? And then after that, what we will do, okay, so you can put this on a petal former, but if you don't have a petal former, you can put it on a spoon or simply lay it flat. So what I will do, I will bend this a little bit, okay, just like that. Or if you have, a, let's say, a rolling pin, you can just lay it flat like so, okay? So you need to do that on all the petals and then once it's dry, we will assemble, okay? Okay, so now our petals are already dry, okay? So what we need to do, we need to first add the green accent. So I have here dust that's color green. So basically, you need to dust the inner part is more dark and then it goes light as it goes out. Okay, you see that? See the color, okay? So it should be more green on the inner part. Okay, it's like so. So when you're doing this, so do it on a V motion, okay? So this should be darker and then it goes light, and then it goes light also. So you need to do that on all the petals. And then here, our center, this one, you need to dust this with green also, okay? So again, here, the center is darker and then it fades going out. Okay, so that's how it should look like. So we need to do it and with all the other petals and then we'll add the red details. Okay, so now we're done with adding the green dust for all the petals and also the center. So you want to arrange them so you would know how to actually put the red accent. So this is how it should look like. Okay, so here, the two petals here will actually have the same red accents and also this one, okay? And these two will be the same, okay? So first, I have here my, okay, so I'll just move this a little bit. I have here my, um, my palette with a red gel color and then I have your water but you can use gin or vodka okay so using a finer tip brush what I would want to do is first I will start with the upper petal okay so you need to create strikes so put your hands in a position like this so gently from one end okay it should be like broken dots that are semi-connected okay just like so so it should be dots that are not really really connected okay so it's it's as if you are making a line, but it's not fully connected, okay? So you can make this part darker, okay? Because this is leaning towards the center, okay? Just like so. You see that? So you need to do... So this one will be the same. Okay, so again, starting from there... 
I'm just creating broken lines that is forming dots, okay? Okay, just like so and then you do again with the other part so you can actually arrange it a bit it's like that so you have a pattern okay so you'll be reminded of how it should look like so it's better if you'll be using a very fine brush so that you can control on where you would want to dab in colors okay Just like so. See that? It's very pretty. Okay, so for the for the very bottom petal, okay, we won't put any red here. So for these two, you'll only put red on the upper part, okay? So let's say this one. We'll only put the red strikes on the upper part. Okay. like so and then maybe just a little here like one or two lines okay just like that okay and then we do again with the other side so here also we do just the upper part okay So maybe we can just add very little here, okay, just like that. Okay, so now we're done. So after this, we will assemble the flower, okay? Okay, so now we will start assembling the flower. So first, you need to take a very small amount of gum paste, around one centimeter, okay? So what you need to do, we need to cover this with gum paste. So I'll just put gum paste here. Okay, connect it on the other end. So it should be like that. Okay, and then remove the excess. Okay. And then you put cornstarch on your hand so it won't stick. Okay, so it should be like that. And then later we will dust this with green. I'll show you what will happen. So first, we need to go. We need to get the first three big petals. Okay, attach it there, just like that. Gently bend. Okay, at that level, and then get the other one, just like so. Okay, and then we get the other one. So we'll first start with the first three. Okay, so it should look like this. And then get your floral tape, then gently wrap around. Okay, so once you have this three together, this is the time wherein we will insert the smaller petals. Okay, so insert on top, just like that, and then insert the other one on the other side. Okay. So that's the reason why there's a paste, so that you can actually stick the three smaller petals and then get the bottom petal and just insert it underneath, just like so, okay? So this is how it should look like. And then uh, wrap it full with your floral tape, okay, and then gently twist, okay? Then twist back. So we need to get another tape to make this very clean. Okay, so we need to cover this with very clean layer of floral tape. Okay, so this is our amaryllis flower, but we're not yet done. Okay, so you can open it a little bit. So we need to go back and dust 
the flower and then we need to arrange the anthers okay so the middle part it should be darker green okay, so using our dust okay, i'm just gonna put lots of dust there okay it should be dark green okay just like that see that and then we have here pink dust so what i will do you need to get your brush specifically for the pink dust okay. because we want to add highlights of pink on this part it's like that okay see that see the difference okay. just like so okay so we do it on the ends okay So again, we do it on the other ends. Oops. So make sure not to add too much. Okay. And then on the bottom part, we'll add very little pinks. Then on this side, this needs to have things on it also in here very little okay and then we arrange our flower again you can move this a little bit just like so and then arrange your anthers okay so there you have it that's your amaryllis flower so normally what I would do, I would add a very little yellow here. Okay. So I'll just get very little yellow paste. Okay, so I'm just gonna dust little yellow. See that? See the effect? Okay. And then on the ends, actually you can dust very little yellow. Okay, so there you have it. That's your Amaryllis Bloom. Okay, see that? It's very pretty. Okay, so that's your Amaryllis flowers. Okay, I hope you learned a lot. Thank you!